Hello, welcome to this lesson in AC circuit analysis. We're going to work on this problem with the node voltage method. Again, we're ratcheting up the complexity just a little bit. Here we have uh, uh, a node that we care about here, a node that we care about here, and a third node that we care about here. So ultimately, we're going to write three node voltage equations. So we'll, our system of equations will be three variables, three unknowns, three equations. Again, we'll dump it into a matrix. And we want to figure out what these three voltages are as a function of time. So once we get the phasor representations out, we'll then convert back to the time domain and convert them to cosines. Here are the sources in terms of uh, what we know, okay, in terms of the uh, functions of time. So IA, as a, in terms of a time domain function, is a cosine. IB is a cosine. IC is a cosine. Notice the frequency is always three for these linear systems. They're always going to be the same. So the first thing you can do before you do anything else is you can write the phasor representation of these, um, of these sources. So in this case, for IA, it'll be 2 at an angle of 0 degrees amps. For IB, it'll be 1 at an angle of 90 degrees. So it'll be 1 at an angle of 90 degrees amps. And then over here, it'll be 3 at an angle of 0 degrees up here. So we'll write this as 3 at an angle of 0 degrees amps. So I know the, the board maybe gets a little bit cluttered having the time and the phasor representations written down, but I want to get it up on the drawing so that you can reference it. Now, we have the 3 Henry inductor and the 5 ohm resistor, 10 ohm resistor, and we have a capacitor, 1 ninth of a farad. So we need to convert those guys off into um, uh, impedances. So we know the frequency is 3 radians per second in each case, so let's go ahead and calculate um, the impedance for this inductor. It's J omega L, which is J times 3, because the frequency is 3, and L, which is also 3 Henry's. So what you get is J9 ohms. So basically this impedance right here, you can write it down as J9 ohms, right on the circuit there. Now this capacitance has an impedance of 1 over J omega C, which is uh, 1 over J times omega is 3, and C is 1 ninth in terms of this guy. Now this is going to give you 3 over 9 is 1 third, so what you'll have is 1 over J 1 third, like this. And so when you compute it, 1 over 1 third, you flip it over, you're going to get a 3, but when you move the J to the top, it'll end up being negative J, so we have negative J 3 ohms. And that's the value of this capacitance in terms of its compete impedance. So negative J3 ohms. I can write that down. So I look at my drawing and I say, okay, I have a phasor here, phasor here, phasor up here, resistor, resistor, and I have impedance, impedance. So I have everything in place to go ahead and start writing the node voltage equations uh, to get where I'm trying to go. Now the first node I care about, I'm going to label it as node 1. 